Hello, I'm, okay, it's Jonathan with Car Generator and my friends Bruce and Barb. Uh, Barb won this at a fun event we did and Barb is the lucky winner of a car generator. And this will power the furnace in your house and I'm gonna show you how you use it today. So first of all, car generator is really light, you can feel that. That weighs 16 pounds, that's it. Okay. The other cool thing about car generator is that it is completely waterproof. So that waterproof, rainproof, it can snow, it can ice, you don't need to worry about anything. Um, it's ventilated, there's a secret vent up in here that the hot air goes out because these generate heat, so it runs safely in the summer and the winter. And that is your car generator. And on the back, it's got a um, rubber backing so it doesn't scratch your car at all on the front. So, we are going to hook this up today to your Dodge Grand Caravan. And the way we do that is uh, just take that open like that. And then this hook here goes like that. And then these are, they look like regular boring booster cables, but they're actually really special booster cables because they are heat proof. They're made of a high heat material that um, it can be in your engine compartment and it won't damage anything and it won't catch fire or it won't uh, overheat. So that's really important. So all you do is you take this guy here and this strap does double duty. It not only keeps everything all neat and tidy when you're not using it, but it also has an adjusting piece here. So you can just basically hang this somewhere that works for you. So I'm going to put this... Uh, Let's try putting this um, here, I think. Let's see what's going to be a good spot. Maybe I'll put it over in this side, sorry. There we go. That's a good little spot right there. So you can just find a little hook or something you can use. Now, if you have an extended power outage and you're worried about um, someone taking this, first of all, you could park your car facing that way so that your exhaust is away from the house. That's always what you want to do. Um, and then this is designed with a hole right here that you can just run like a bicycle cable walk or anything simple. You can just run it right through here yep. and then through anything like this as an example. Okay. And it's completely safe and no one can take it away. And that's simple and easy. Okay. So now what we do is we take, these are the heat proof booster cables and you're going to attach them. You can actually do it. Why not? If you want. Yeah. So really important is red to red and black to black. If you reverse them, it will actually kill the unit yeah. and it won't produce any power for you. Okay. So what you do is uh, I'll show you how to do it on the red one and then you can do the black one afterwards. Okay. So basically attach it really nice and firmly on there. Uh -huh. That's a great setup like that. Yep. And then you go ahead and do the black. Now notice when you do this, there'll be a little tiny spark, which is completely normal. Okay. It won't, you won't get a shock. It's completely normal. There'll just be a little spark. There you go. Gotcha, yeah. Yeah, and that's <laughs> perfect. So what that's doing is it's engaging the the power pack. That's when you connect it, it does an engagement of it so that it's all ready to go. Now, what you can do is you can now even just, you want to pop that. Yep. You can safely and carefully, yep, you can lean this close. When you do it, you want to make sure that you don't that this doesn't touch on anything, but this is okay. It's designed so it's not going to pinch the wire, yeah. but just like that. See, okay. and then here now we're all set because it can snow, it can rain, anything can happen. And this will be safe. Nothing will happen from here. And this is waterproof. So you've got waterproof power that can run and you're good. So cool. how cool is that? Yeah. So on the front of the unit, you see the next thing that's important, which is this shows you the voltage that your car is running at. So you can see it's 14.5. Uh, in the manual, which you have, I'm going to give you inside as well, um, you always want to make sure this stays above 13.3. Because as long as you're above 13.3, you're not taking too much power from your car. If it goes down below that, then you know that you're, and you'll see in the manual, it's pretty, pretty okay. easy to make sure. Um, and with your furnace, it's going to get nowhere even near that. So, okay. so next fun job we have here is extension cord. So this extension cord is from Costco. Um, it's about $39 in Canada, probably a little bit less in the US. It's a 100 foot <laughs> extension cord and it is 12 three wire. So it's really, uh, it's a good, yeah, 
It's a good heavy duty extension cord. Okay. It's the only 100 foot extension cord I think that Costco sells. So you can use that or you can um, go anywhere. So here we go. So our next job is just to go ahead and um, we're gonna unroll that into the house. And before we do that, we can even just plug this in to the unit. So if you look down inside the unit, oh, yeah. can you see inside here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So inside there's two power outlets uh -huh. and you can use either one of them. They're both the same. Okay. So what you can do is you can run an extension cord inside the house and you can use you can just put a splitter in there if you want to take it off for computer or something else like can that. Can I have both cor both outlets going at the same time? You can, but what's even easier is you can just run one extension cord into your house and then put a power bar inside your house gotcha. and just split it inside your house. Single. Because okay. you only need one out here yep. is just to get a connection. And there you go. So the way this is designed now okay. is it's really cool because the way this is designed is it can rain, it can snow, your car will run typically between 50 to 70 hours it can run on a tank of gas so if yeah. you really got an extended power outage you would then be able to um, uh, run for a day two days three days you know three days you go out and you probably would refill your gas, gas tank up again and then come back and hook it up exactly That's or, right. use the other car. or use the or other use car, the other car okay. exactly yeah. um, so when a storm is coming in the only thing you need to do is just go out and fill up your gas tank. That's it. And then as long as your gas tank is full, then you know if nothing happens, you can just um, continue on with your life. And if you get a big extended power outage, then you know you're good to go. Right. Right? Wow. So there it is. Cool. So let's take the extension cord inside yep. and we're gonna run it down to the furnace. So you can run this through your front door, through a window, through whatever works. Every house is a little different. Let's see how far we'll get with this. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that funny? It seems almost without fail in all the installs that I've done, all the, or all the customers that we've sold this to, I had this magic 100 foot extension cord. Yeah. And in almost every case, it actually, it's amazing. It actually is. Do it. It, it does it. It actually reaches. And here we are. Good to know. 100 feet. Okay. So I'm just going to finish this up here. Now, another important thing is outside, you want to lock your car too. So when you're, if you're right. going to leave it out there, you just, all you do is you press the lock and then you can lock it from outside. Right. And if you have a key fob, you can take the little skeleton key out yeah. and you can just lock it that way. Yeah. So here we go. So here you go. There, look at that. We have, you can see the light shining in there. So we have power <laughs> and that's from your car generator. Cool. Right? Yeah. So now, um, Hold that for one second. I'm just gonna get, there's a meter. What this unit is for, uh, I'm gonna go over, maybe over here. So what this, this is a power meter. And what this means is that you can use this to see how much power your furnace is. Remember I had that other meter that yeah. I tested it, but this is for you to keep so you can see exactly how much power your furnace is using. Okay. So we're going to go ahead in normal um, circumstances, your uh, furnace is plugged in just like this yeah. and um, when the power goes out you simply unplug it we need to put an extra we need to put a, a plate on there but uh, in normal in power outages you just simply unplug it yep. and you plug it into actually here I'll plug this in through here <clears throat> so you can see on here we have power right yeah whoops <laughs> is that okay Jared yeah so far so good okay good and we're going to go ahead and plug your furnace in. And there we go. And now we're going to ask our friend Bruce to go and turn up the heat, please. <laughs> so your furnace is completely disconnected from hydro. There's no back feeding. There's no issues for Ontario Hydro. You're completely disconnected. So this is running independently off when I unplug it. When, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Then off of the van. Yep. Yeah, it's just running on the van right now. And there it comes on. There it goes. Whoa. 
Look at that. 300 watts, 400, it popped up here for a second. Can you see the numbers in the meter okay? Good. How cool is that? Isn't that cool? Yeah. You're, running, cool. you're running off your van. Yeah. You're running your furnace off your van. Saving the house. Well, it's better than freezing, right? Yeah. It's so easy. It's amazing. It blows my mind because people, you don't need your neighbor across the road has a $10,000 generator I can see outside yeah. on their lawn, taking up space. They have to pay a service guy ugly, to come. Ugly, ugly. thing. <laughs> it's like an extra air conditioner. Who yeah. wants that, right? Yeah. And all you need is the car generator to run the most essential things. It's not going to run your hot tub and your wine fridge and your, you know, all these things. But there you go. So this is going to do the furnace and the fridge. So now what you would do, yeah, so what, no, what you would do now is you would just bring in the ex this extension cord and then you can split it. So what I would do is if you have a power bar, mm -hmm. uh, there you have a power bar right there. We could basically, there's a power bar hanging right on, or if you have a power bar? Yeah, or we might have another one. Everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a power bar? Yeah. Actually, you know, after this, we'll go up to the fridge and we can actually run it. I'll show you how you run the fridge. But basically, you would just split it here. Uh -huh. Look at this. 300 watts. You're running entirely off of your... And that should go up to, it'll read 1,000? It, no, yeah. it'll never get up that. Your furnace doesn't use that much power. Your furnace is only using about 335 right now. And it looks like it hovered before when we did the test about... 300, 400 watts, that's the most. So then, um, can we have the furnace and the fridge going at the same time? I think you probably could, but we're gonna test the fridge afterwards, Budget. and then we'll know. Okay. So the reason that you, by the way, the reason that you wanna have this meter here is so that you know how much um, juice. juice you're pulling. Yep. And we'll also look on the van and we'll see what the, um, the number on the van is, and that's the indicator that lets you know how much Fine. you can pull out or okay. not, that's all. But look at that, your furnace is running, you can feel the hot air. Yeah, on the car. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah. It's pretty cool. First time I, <laughs> first time I did You're it, I'm like, wow. You're brilliant, Jonathan. Right? Wow. Well, first time I did it, I was like, wow, this is so cool. Huh? That's it, wow. right? Yeah. Perfect. And this unit costs like $800 as opposed to $8,000 that your neighbor spent on their big... My sister just spent five. Five thousand? Five thousand. Wow. Yeah, for the cottage. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs>